story of Prophet Muhammad. The Muslims were left stranded following the death of Prophet Idris, since no matter man from among us them as chosen as a prophet, people began to look the peers, companions of Idris for guidance. They respected and followed these righteous men and consulted them every time they were faced with the problem eventually as time passed by. The peers men also had passed away leaving the Muslims again with no leader for guidance. They feared and were worried that they would stray from the path of Allah. Satan who was on with sure eyes approached the valiant man and woman disguised as a man, whispered in the, into their ears, if we make status of these righteous men, it will be more pleasing to us in our worship and will remind us of them. The men agreed as they received no harm in erecting status of their most pious men that would surely help them remember Allah and encourage them to do good. Satan had successfully planted his corrupted seed. He was patient for he knew that getting men to worship another was a slow process when that generation had passed and the new generation of people had forgotten the intention behind the erecting of statues. Satan whispered into the ears of the men, Your forefathers used to worship these idols. These statues brought them madness. Thus, idolatry took root in the hearts of men. Centuries passed and Allah decided to send a prophet to guide the idolaters back to the truth. The prophet chosen for this sacred toss was more. Allah blessed his loyal disciples with eloquent speech and immense patience so that we may carry out his duty with success. So Prophet Noah began to preach to his people about the mysterious of the vast universe. He informed them about the night and the day. The stars and the moon, the plants and animals, and the heaven and the earth. He explained to them that man was created by Allah to glorify and worship Him. No then told them about the oneness of Allah. That the materials of the world were only proof of the existence of one true God and that is none other than Allah the Most High. He explained to them that Satan had misled them into worshipping idols and warned them of a terrible punishment from Allah if they continue their idol worship. The people of Prophet Nuh listened to him with great confusion and patience. The most miserable and despair among us Nuh's people began to find hope and solace in the Prophet's words and gradually entered into the fold of Islam. Whilst the affluent watched on with grief. They said to Nuh, We see you, but a man like ourselves. Prophet Nuh explained to them that he was certainly a human being and Allah had sacrificedly chosen a human messenger as the earth was predominantly occupied by humans after all. And if the earth was occupied by angels, Allah would have surely sent an angelic messenger to convey his message. One day, the wealthy pastors of the city approached Prophet Nu and said to him, Listen Nu, if you want us to believe in you, then dismiss your believers. They are weak and poor, while we are light and rich. No faith can include us both. Nu was well aware of the ignorance of the wealthy man. We knew that he had to remain gone in order to explain to them that materialistic possessions were worthless in the sight of Allah and it was what is within one thought that really mattered to him. 
prophet Nu replied to them, O oh my people, I ask for no wealth for it. My reward is from none but Allah. I am not going to drive away those who have lived. Surely they are going to meet their Lord, but I see that you are ignorant people. O oh my people, who will help me? against your law. If I prove them away, will you not then give a thought? And I do not say to you that with me are the treasures of Allah, nor that I know the unseen, nor do I say that I am an angel, and I do not say of those whom your eyes look down upon that Allah will not bestow any good on them. Allah knows what is in their inner selves. In that case, I should indeed be one of the wrongdoers. The idolaters were furious. They had tolerated news, incessant preaching, and arguments for for too long. They angrily challenged me. Oh no! You have disputed with us and have prolonged the dispute with us. Now bring upon us what you threatened us with if you are of the truthful. No reply. Only Allah will bring the punishment on you if the wills and then you will not be able to escape and my advice will not profit you even if I wish to give you counsel if Allah will is to keep you astray. He is your Lord and to Him you shall return. The disbelievers who had lost all patience with no resorted to hard insults at the Messenger of Allah in attempts to frighten, frighten Him from preaching the religion of Islam. They said, Verily we see you in plan error. No, patiently replied, O oh my people, there is no error in me, but I am a messenger from the Lord of the world. I convey unto you the messages of my Lord and give sincere advice to you, and I know from Allah what you know not. Despite the continuous mockery and rejection, Prophet Nu was persistent in calling his people to Islam for 950 years, but every generation that came to existence rejection Nu as their fathers did. Each child that reached an age of understanding was clearly warned against the teaching of Prophet Nu. Whenever the Prophet approached them, they ran away from him. They found every excuse to escape from the presence of Nu. Before long, Prophet Nu realized that the number of disbelievers were rapidly on the rise, whilst the number of believers remained unchanged. He was very upset for his people and feared a terrible predicament for them, but he was left with no choice. Prophet Nu prayed to Allah, My Lord, they have disobeyed me, and followed one whose wealth and children give them no increase but only loss. They have plotted a mighty plot. They have said, You shall not leave your gods, nor shall you leave God. So Yahud, Yog, nor Nas, name of the idols. Indeed, they have led many astray. O oh Allah, grant to increase to the disbelievers. Allah soon revealed to Prophet Nu that no other man from his people would enter Islam. Their fathers sad and frustrated. Prophet Nu replied to Allah, My Lord, leave not one of the disbelievers on the earth. If you leave them, they will mislead your slaves and they will beget none but wicked disbelievers. Prophet Nu's prayer was accepted by his Lord. He instructed Prophet Nu and construct the ark under four eyes, under our eyes, and with our inspirations and addresses 
me not on behalf of those who did wrong outside the city limits away from the sea prophet nu began to build the ark through day and night with the support and guidance of the angels the construction of the ark continued amidst the constant mockery of the people they jeered at prophet nu saying oh no does carpentry appeal to you more than prophet would why are you building an ark so far from the sea are you going to drag it to the water or is the wind going to carry it for you prophet nu answered you will come to know who will be put to shame and suffering Allah then instructed to know that then the own at his home begins to gush forth water collect the believers and pour the ark for it was the first sign of the beginning of the floods that would destroy the disbelievers not long after the terrible day dawned as water began gushing forth from the own at prophet Noah's house no knew it was time to board the ark along with the believers no also took with him pairs of animals birds and insects the people who witnessed no's peculiar behaviors laughed at him again saying no must have gone out of his head what is he going to do with the animals soon after heavy rain began to pour down from the angry skies and water began to rise through every crack on earth the water levels gradually began to rise and the oceans covered the land the once dry land was now completely submerged in water for the first time prophet no witness the terrible calamity the had befallen his people he knew the disbelievers had no escape from the wrath of allah Among us the disbelievers was prophet Nuh's wife and son who refused to board his ark Nuh desperately called out to his son O oh my son embark with us and be not among the disbelievers the ignorant son of Nuh replied I will get to the mountain it will save me from the water Nuh answered this day there is no savior from the decree of allah accept him on whom he was mercy for long nuh's son was engulfed by angry waves never to be seen again when every single disbeliever and perished allah ordered the skies and the earth over swell up your water and the sky with all your rain The sky is immediately clear and the sun shone brightly on the land meanwhile Noah's ark peacefully landed on Mount Jerry Allah instructed his prophet O oh, Noah come down from the ship with peace from us and blessing on you on you and on the people who are with you as instructed prophet Noah along with the believers got off the ark releasing the rescued animals birds and insects across the greenland prophet knew placed his forehead on the ground prostrated to his lord and thanked him immensely for him his mercy and blessing the believers were grateful to allah for safeguarding them from the terrible order and observed a day of fasting as an act of gratitude to allah